Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Um, welcome to the Geek Life Rules New York Cosplay Cabaret Highlights Show. Um, first of all, Happy New Year, everybody. And we hope you guys have had a great holiday and a safe holiday season. I am Lawrence. And I am Kate. And um, we were both tested, just so everyone knows. We're both tested. We're both cool. Um, and we are doing something different. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us tonight, guys. Now, normally, we end our season with a holiday show, and we don't come back until March or April. And uh, we're coming back March 4th uh, this year with our first official show of season four. But we decided to go into the vault um, because, wow, we've been at this for three years, y'all. Three years. <laughs> oh, gosh. A lot, a lot has happened. I um, mean, yeah, you know. <laughs> so much, so so much so that we've forgotten a lot of it. So what, so what me and Kate have been doing um, is we've been going through videos of previous performances, going all the way back to our very first show at Don't Tell Mamas, and we have tried to put together um, some of the highlights, and it's been hard. It's been incredibly. <laughs> incredibly hard like it i mean how, what is a sophie's choice but like with a million options like i just that, <laughs> seriously not, okay we could like we first of all we've said we could do an entire show that's either just matt marge and evie right out the gate like straight up but we could also i mean again we could do an entire show of you oh. Which yeah, you know. i wouldn't do that that's narcissistic <laughs> but, um. like there's just so many to choose from then Going back and seeing some of our, like, performers that, you know, came on and, like, did one show and didn't stick around, but we still remember them fondly and, like, got to, you know, reminisce on their numbers that they did. It's just, it's been such a cool 
ride, you know? Like, I'm, I'm really excited to do this. It is. Um, and then once we get to the virtual shows that we had this year, it's like, we watched the the very first one. We watched bits of the very the bits of the very first one, um, and watching those first couple of numbers, and then thinking how the holiday show, but especially this year's Comic Con show went, and watching the progression was just like, oh my god, stunning! Oh my god, yeah. Well, and just how how we've learned from there and adapted, and <laughs> how I've. <laughs> learned and adapted because <laughs> I am not technologically savvy how in do we, the slightest. How do, we hold, how do we hold our camera, Kate? <laughs> um, <I don't... laughs> oh, come on. No, well, and it's mostly like I I remember the first one we did. I mean, you and I were both up until, what, five, six in the morning. I was up until five pre-recording all of the intros, and it was just, like, the most stressful Yeah, we hadn't figured out thing. how to do it live yet. Yeah. Um, and then, oh, was the very first one the one that, like, I was uploading the show at 7.10? Like, we, the pre-show was meant to be a 7.30 show at 8, and I think at 7.15 I was still painfully uploading it up onto um, whatever platform we used uh, uh, for the first show, YouTube, I was painfully uploading it on my slow spectrum internet, and just oh my god! Yeah, it was it was. Oof. And I was pretty. Jeez. I was done drinking, didn't I? I was like bottle of wine because I'm stressed you out. I need to relax. I, I know. I remember that you were like, um, "Kate, can you take it for a second? I I, I need to go get something, <laughs> some kind of imbibing in me." But but hey, I mean, we did it, and and look at how far we've come. We have. Yes. We have. So. Um, so tonight's going to be a little bit different. Uh, this is a free and open stream. So guys, if you want to share it to people, please feel free to do so. Uh, there's no ticket donation for tonight. Um, we are going to ask if you see a performer that you enjoy. Assuming that the editing works out the way it's supposed to, they'll ve their direct Venmo will be at the bottom of the screen. Feel free to send them a little something, something. Um, for those performers that you see tonight that are one and done and haven't been on the stage in two years, they're probably going to be like, what? Tip for a cabaret from two years ago? <laughs> <laughs> performers can all use it. Uh, so yeah, you can do that. Uh, but you don't have to send anything into us. There is no charity for tonight. Um, uh, tonight's just about going back and kind of remembering... And appreciating the wow, the path that we've been on for this thing that started off, yeah, and was meant to be a one-off, and and it's been cool to kind of because again, I I came on after you'd already been doing it for a year, so to go back and watch like the very first, you'd never seen any of the I'd first show until tonight. I've never seen any of the first, uh, no, and yeah. it was it was so cool, and all of your costume changes were <laughs> stupid. They were stupid. amazing. <laughs> Four costumes, three numbers. It was stupid, and that's why we brought this lovely lady. <laughs> Listen, I love a good costume change. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, I know that the struggle of us of having to do a quick change in between numbers when you're in a cramped little space and everyone's pretty much watching you disrobe yeah. in front of them. Yeah, it's a uh, it's quite an experience. Yeah. Um, also, if you haven't figured it out as this night goes on. Um, this is pre-recorded. It's not live tonight. Although Kate and I are in the live chat, so hey, how you doing? We'll talk to everybody. Um, we'll probably we have absolutely no idea what the show order is going to be. We're just kind of hanging out and watching these videos and having a good time to put together a compilation for you guys. There are going to be things you see that you remember. There are going to be things that you wish were in there and aren't in there, which means we'll probably we're realizing very quickly that there's just too much material to do this and not have this show be really long. So we may do this again if you guys like it. Let us know in the comments. Um, also, because we're not quite sure of the order of continuity as, as we do this, um, our sobriety level will probably change <laughs> as the show goes on. We'll see, yes, for sure. Well, hey, you know, I mean, bottoms up, am Bottom, I right? Bottoms up! Bottoms yeah. up! <laughs> yes! <laughs> mm. So, guys, we are going to get together um, and get this thing started, and we hope you guys enjoy the cosplay cabaret highlight show the first three years as we get ready to kick off season four in march show me the smile oh, show me the smile don't waste another minute on your crying we're nowhere near, we're the, nowhere near the, the end the best is ready to Summer every day. 
performer you're going to see is actually our illustrious accompanist, David Citron. Oh, yes, King David. King David. David came on and joined us in Road to Comic-Con, our third show, mm -hmm. um, and then stayed on. And he has been our accompanist through virtually every single live show and most of the initial virtual shows as well. Um, so we were going back and we realized, aside from the Aside from the fact that we just love David, um, we couldn't, and you're going to hear this often, we couldn't narrow down what we wanted to do. It's so hard. It's so hard. <laughs> um, and also, since we switched to a digital format, we haven't gotten a chance to feature him nearly as much as we would like to. Um, so we wanted to kind of give give him a chance to shine, and, and we, we, uh, we, we were stuck between two numbers, and so we're like, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> Stuart, you're gonna get both. So get yes. Both. So um, the first one is the first one you'll see. You we won't show the whole thing. We'll show a snippet of it. Um, is agony where David and I did Jafar and I'm about to say Count Dooku. That's Star Wars. Count Dooku. <laughs> <laughs> Not Count Dooku. Frollo. There we go. Frodo. Frodo. <laughs> Ro Frollo. You know what I mean. From. Hunchback in Notre Dame. Um, and it was a number we did, I think, two years back as a duet in the live show. And we recreated it digitally. Um, and it was so much fun mm -hmm. um, doing the Disney characters and reimagining it with the virtual landscape. Um, and thanks to him for, for suggesting we do it. Uh, but then, going back into the vault, um, we discovered a number called uh, Riddle. Where David actually, we started off the show with David doing a Riddler number as the Riddler. Um, and it was so funny and it's so smart. And I actually forgotten how witty the lyrics were. So, um, and you haven't seen it yet. I, I seen, I remember seeing it like once. Yeah. But I, I can't wait to see it again because I'm sure there's things that I've forgotten that I will just... Yes. Die laughing. We're going to die. And if you look in the corner, you may or may not see, again, reactions of us reacting to that. So uh, here it is, guys, our illustrious accompanist, David Citron, uh, performing Agony and uh, Riddle in its entirety. Did I confuse her with my pious ways? Why did she run from me? 
If I should lose her, how shall I regain that raven-haired imagery? Agony beyond fires of hell When the one thing you want is the chance to get close for a smell Agony for a spill in such strife Guess we'll take their bows I am still too sober for this tonight. <laughs> Riddle me this, ladies and gentlemen. Our first performer is none other than your accompanist as the Riddler himself, Mr. Edward J. were murdered before his eyes. His quest for revenge consumed his life. Put on a suit, a bat-like suit. Another boy loved to taunt and tease. Puzzles for him were just like breeze. What do you call a rabbit with fleas? Answer me, answer me. So I said, here's a riddle for you. Find the answer. The more you cut me, the bigger I grow. What am I? <laughs> Frozen in the iceberg lounge today. Forgot how to think, but it's okay. It's not the first time that's been taken away. Come riddle me, come riddle me. Penguin thinks he's big, but he's smaller than small. In the scheme of things, well, he's nothing at all. Victor Zaz knows which way the chips will fall. Come play with me, come play with me. Now, Penguin, here's a riddle for you. In the alphabet, what letters make a supervillain team? You and I. You and I. There are secrets that we still have left to find. The court of owls is playing with my mind. There are answers you're not wise enough to see. What's at the end of every race? The letter E. Apologize. My universal translator has been broken recently. Go, go! That's our name. Women's wrestling is our game. If we play rough, please don't blame us. Our style is wild, and you know you can't tame us. Glow!
welcome to Marvel Peace Theater. I am your host, Loki Laufeyson, Odinson, rightful ruler of Asgard. Oh, I'm just a girl. No apologies. What I've become is a goddess awesome. Oh, I'm just a girl hanging out with Nick Fury. He's the man. There's no comparison. Oh. So our next performer, ladies and gentlemen, um, has been with us since the very beginning. Um, and again, following the theme, it's been so difficult trying to like narrow down just one number, but we decided to go way back to the vault um, and pull up an old number because it was easy to pull up a new one and you guys can find them in the playlist. Uh, this is Miss Evie Apple, who's joined by... Crystal Hamai. Crystal Hamai. Yes. This was from our Twisted Disney and Duets themed show that we did. Um, we got uh, duet couples, and uh, they were channeling Wicked. They w uh, they were channeling Wicked. Wicked. Wicked was channeling them. Yes. yes. So we're going back to Gotham with another Gotham-inspired number. Um, them doing their version of, of, of... What is this feeling? What is this feeling? What, what is I was going to say, um, uh, no. <laughs> 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 I don't know if that's the name of the song. <laughs> Not. I married her with my eyes wide open, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Please give it up for show some love in the thingy. <laughs> Crystal and I and Evie. Remember what we said about our sobriety level with Jump Around? Even though this is, I think, in the beginning of the show, it is actually almost midnight. We're toasted. Enjoy! <laughs> ladies and gentlemen of Gotham City. There's been some confusion who the king of Gotham is. <laughs> but of course I'll solve this riddle. But of course I'll rise to power. And we'll fight till only one of us remains. Yes. There's been some confusion for you see my rival. Bird brain. <laughs> what is this feeling so sudden and new? I felt the moment I laid eyes on you. My pulse is rushing. My head is reeling. My face is flushing. What is this feeling? Burning as a flame.
<laughs> this has been such a fun night. I know. It's just so good to see you again, it like, is. in person and, you know. And just hang out. And, hang out. And, and talk about stuff. Talk and, about stuff and go down memory lane and get to watch all these videos and laugh and just, oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, we've been having a good laugh for everything you're seeing. There's like 10 videos you haven't, um... <laughs> and also just a bunch of crazy stuff just, happening. Also just, yeah, us being nuts, essentially. Us being crazy. I know. We should have a camera off to the side just recording all the crazy stuff that we've been doing in between. Right. Um, so, uh, depending on where this shows up in the show, you, our next performer is Nicole Oliver, who has been with us since the very, very beginning, who is also someone who we could not figure out. Yet another. Yet another. Would nobody use. Um, so we're actually going to do a hybrid. You're going to see uh, part of the very first number she ever did in our first cabaret, which was Sailor Moon. Um, and she did it in Japanese. She did it in Japanese! Ah! It was crazy. It was crazy. And then we're going to jump ahead to uh, her doing the diva dance from Fifth Element, which was part of our very first New York Comic Con show of which the video was uh, destroyed and there is no, uh, I think we saved like all of 30 seconds of it. Um, but in a virtual format, she was gracious enough to redo it for us. Um, and and it was cool because now, because virtually we could like, you know. Add all kinds of like, yeah, like we, we could play like a, a green screen, add effects and everything and cutaways and. What, what green screen? We have a wonderful set behind oh, us right that's now. That's right. I mean, a real or live a set. I mean, uh, hold on a second. See? Yeah. Ta-da. <laughs> Are you a wizard, Lawrence? Wingardium! <laughs> Triplimosis. <laughs> I did mention that our sobriety level would change as this went on. We warned you. Yeah. But you're with us now. There's no turning back. Guys, she's an amazing cosplayer. She's an amazing mermaid. She's an amazing vocalist, an amazing opera singer, an amazing friend, and an amazing performer. Give it up for... <laughs> Nicole Oliver! I know, I, I always say her name wrong. Oliver. That's why I did that. To say, I'm
next two people that you are going to see are Seth Biesenherz and Sarah Gaines. So these two uh, performers um, are a special place. Uh, Seth is actually was actually our accompanist for our very first show. I met Seth doing his cabaret at Don't Tell Me Alexa Be Quiet at Alexa Stop. Alexa, fire photon torpedoes. Photon torpedoes armed. Firing. <laughs> and I'm not gonna edit that out. So the next <laughs> Oh wait, I've got more, but we'll come back to it later. Um <laughs> so as we were saying, uh I met Seth doing his cabaret that he's done like five or six hundred shows at Don't Tell Mamas um, and mentioned that we were geeks. I inv in invited him to what I think was our first or second Star Trek Discovery party, uh, premiere party. Um, and we hit it off. I told Seth I've been working on this project for a couple of years, but it was having trouble getting it off the ground. And Seth, who I will eternally be grateful to, helped get the very first... New York Cosplay Cabaret off the ground at Don't Tell Mama's uh, famous piano bar in New York City, uh, and also co-hosted the show with me. Um, so we could not be doing this highlight show celebrating the three years we've been doing this without having a little snippet of some of the stuff that Seth brought to our show. Um, Sarah Gaines is one of Seth's performers mm -hmm. um, who she invited in, and if you're going to do Star Trek, you're going to got to do Star Wars. And she's uh, doing sort of a casual cosplay of R2-D2. But the reason we put her in here is because weeks and weeks and months and months of trying to put this thing together, and I've told you this story before, weeks and yeah. weeks and months and months of trying to put it together, um, I, I just, uh, anyone who knows me, type A, OCD, Virgo, I was like, gotta get it right, gotta get it right. Um, and just gotta have fun and make the most out of it. And so when the show finally started, I was completely tense. Like, even after people had started performing, even after I had already done at least one number and one costume change, it was just like, like, I still had, wasn't relaxing yet. Um, we were blessed to have a full house on our first show. Yes. Everyone was responding, um, but I was just like, mm. Sarah's number, and I'm pretty sure I told her this uh, when I saw her uh, last year at Broadway Con. Sarah's number was... There was a moment in Sarah's number where she started singing and everyone started singing with her. Mm. And it was the moment that I relaxed and went, this is working. Even if we never do another one, this right now in this moment is working. Um, That's amazing. And yeah, you told me, I remember you saying that before. And I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt that it's a very, it's a, it's a pretty well, not spoilers, it's a well-known song, but it's just so fun to sing along to, you know? Like, I love this song. Yeah. 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 So, um, for those of you who were there at the very, very beginning, uh, you know it's coming. And for those of you who don't, um, you know what? We're not going to spoil it. We, we all will have fun tattooing. <laughs>
<laughs> Black folks were croaking. <laughs> Battle droids were broken. <laughs> because she absolutely adores our next performer coming up, who, as you'll notice a recurring theme tonight, is another performer that we just could have such a hard time figuring out what number to pull up. Insane. It's insane. Insanely difficult. Uh, yeah. She has been with us. She's literally the very first performer to ever step foot on the New York Cosplay Cabaret stage all the way back on April of 2018 at Don't Tell Mamas, and I'm talking about Sailor Marge. Um, she's a brilliant performer, brilliant lyricist, brilliant cosplayer, brilliant costumer. Uh, what else? Um, what was the word that we made up earlier? Periodontist? Peri 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 not periodontist. No. no. Parodyist. <laughs> Parodyist. Parodyist. Uh, uh, whatever. <laughs> Public servant. Public servant. Has she been pushing the vote? In, uh, yeah. Surely has. Um, so we were trying to like narrow it down between Minuet and uh, Queen Arachna, Arachnia, mm -hmm. and Beverly Crusher, mm -hmm. and God, good Lord, so many. There's so many. There's a Pokemon. My, my oh Pokemon my God, the po a Pokemon. I, I love yeah, that. Gosh, so Pokemon catcher, yes. Yes. We finally came down to um, probably an obvious number for those who have been following the cabaret. And that is, so when we did our very first virtual digital cabaret at the beginning of 2020 when the pandemic started. Uh, Marge was part of that show, and Marge very quickly adapted to her performance to the digital format. Almost everybody, myself included, and I think Kate, performed standing in our living room, yada, 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 basically put our, phone, our, our, our iPhones up, and, went, and we're doing a for digital version of our performance that would have been on stage. And Marge, of course, comes out the gate an eight-part harmony. <laughs> harmony. Eight, eight different characters. Eight different characters. It, 
Yeah. Just parodying one of my favorite all-time musicals, Les Mis, which Cassie knows because she's heard it a yeah. billion times since we've been together. And the cray-cray that is the pandemic, so another pandemic parody. Um, and the cray-cray that is that was... And the cray-cray that was the U.S. government at the time. Marge, if you're watching, you should so do another one after the last seven days. Oh, oh like God. update it with just follow. the same characters? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Do a follow-up. I'm, I'm for it. Do a follow-up where, like, you know, Javert slash Orange Dude falls off the bridge at the end. That'd be awesome. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> oh, my God. Just saying. Just saying. Do you hear the people sing? Um, so you want to introduce her? No. I'm not prepared for this. She's just here to sit in my chair. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> one of our all-time favorite cosplay cabaret performers. Give it up for Sailor Marge. Performing one, one, no, I have to sing it. Performing one day more. Cray Cray, now you can hit the button. Oh, this one? <laughs> One day more, another day, another travesty. We're only looking for immunity. These men who seem to understand are upstaged by an orange man. One day I more. I had to pause New York Sunday. Maybe for months, but I'm not hopeless. One day more. Silicon Valley saves the day. Their contributions leave us speechless. One more day all on my own. Wash your hands when you get home. I'll return to Massachusetts. Keep six feet between you. What a life I might have known. We'll make weed essential too. But you never saw me there. One more day to raise some fun. Daily briefings going well. But for all of us Mortgage payments are on hold Make the most of what you can Hashtag President Cuomo Will you save the world with me? The time is now The day is here One day more Every second I'll be tweeting Fox News shows me all I know We'll be ready for this virus. Yes, we will, cause One I say so. Have a little lunch, make a few phone calls. Never know your love when stock's about to fall. Trade a little here, sell a lot more there. Most of them are goners, but we're rich, who cares? The GOP can't see the problems. The liberal Dems can't see progress. We fear there's nowhere left to go. We fear there's nowhere left to go. Work together. There's a new world to be won. Do you hear the people sing? My place is here. I fight with you. One day more. I had to watch your Sunday. I live in that moment 
when my prince has just wrestled a giant octopus to win my hand, when he holds me in his arms for the first time and we stare into each other's eyes. To a dreamer, that moment can last forever. The secret to being a dreamer is to never dream past that moment. <laughs> yeah. You never get to the part where you're a boring old bowl of oatmeal or a worn out pair of, oh, what's that word again? Shoes? <laughs> Shoes. My ex-boyfriends tell me I expect too much. Do I? Who knows? Why shouldn't I be happy? I mean, look at all this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? <laughs> Oh, but what 
doesn't count. Those people don't really love me. They don't know me. They don't believe in me. Oh, well, I know you. And I believe in you. I even have your picture on my rolling paper. <laughs> so when I feel blue, <laughs> so when I feel blue, I can roll up a five sheeta and think about you. Well, gee. <laughs> took it out of a performer. Yeah, and th this guy, um, actually, it it's ironic because I didn't realize that he was in the show, and him and I were a part of another show together previous to, what well, before the quarantines, we were in a show together, and so it was a nice surprise seeing him in this performance, and the, you know, he got to do this cabaret with us. It was really lovely, and yeah. I mean, his song is Unbelievable. His song is, is fantastic. Um, the song is from Beetlejuice. Some of you already know what's coming. Mm -hmm. um, it was the performer who did the entire thing with a puppet that he built himself. Um, uh, Beetlejuice on Broadway, I should say, for, for anyone who's not familiar. And yeah, it was just so much fun. fun. Um, it was also the one of the first of many, many quarantine <laughs> parodies that we got this year so many quarantine parodies so many like frozen quarantine parodies oh Just, yeah oh my goodness so gracious. um we're gonna go back to the vault with this great number you may or may not see some of our reactions um in like the little box in the corner because we really have no idea what we're doing so we're throwing everything at the wall because this is the first time we've done it and we're having fun Woo! guys give it up for bobby eddie doing the whole being dead thing hey everybody I know this is a really hard time, and I'm having a hard time with it, too. I've seen a lot of videos of people singing, and I thought I could just do my part. This is a song that's gotten me through a lot, and hopefully it'll help you get through something today, too. Holy crap! 
another musical theater ballad, and such a cliched song. Hey folks, I've got the virus. I feel it screaming from my sinus. Can you think of something less desirous? While we start the whole staying home thing, you're doomed. Enjoy confinement. Enjoy your daily realignment. Enjoy the impact on the climate. Hey, look on the bright side. It's the whole staying home thing. Isolation is a bitch. I'm running out of beer and wine. Smoke some meth and you'll be fine. I can cure that theater itch, so don't be snide. Just stay inside. I'd be scared, but I've already died. So just relax, this will pass. Sure, you cannot wipe your ass, but take a breath. (gasps) Welcome to a song about death. You're, you're gonna be great Just self-isolate Die, you're all gonna die, you're all gonna die I, I'll set the scene For COVID-19 Every single person better watch their fanny Cause COVID could be hiding in a nook or cranny Hey there kids, stay far away from granny What, it's too soon? The whole staying home thing You're just gonna love the symptoms Take a testimony from corona victims And that includes the millions who lost their incomes Whoops, (laughs) the whole being broke thing Anyone could be exposed I know it's hard, but beg your pardon We're axed by the winter garden Stay in bed and decompose Cause we're all out of luck here Sort of like we're stuck here Just a bunch of schmucks here With nobody to f*** here To keep it optimistic We can be artistic The world has gone ballistic I guess our god's sadistic Welcome to a song about death. Hey, happy you ass. Thank you. You should wear a mask. How you do? Whoa, not good. We need my buddy to pop. I'll, hey, I'll happily Skype and use a Clorox wipe. Seriously, though, this is a song about death. up a puppet, it may keep talking. That's the thing with life, no one makes it out alive. Do a puzzle, read or knit. Ain't it awful? It's chaotic. Go and binge watch Show Exotic. Just be stingy when you shit. Out of work, no education, time for months of masturbation. From the cradle to cremation, we all need a little vaccination. While you are asleep on your couch, I replaced Oscar the Grouch. And with your permission, I'll vouch for the whole stay. For a song about death. How do you turn this off? I just love singing this song when I'm not really warmed up. <laughs> Looking out on all my former lives. Sometimes I felt so uninspired. Keep doing that, that's nice. <laughs> and when I knew he'd face another day, this Gallifrey felt so tired. But since regeneration, life has been more kind. My new body is the key to my Woman. Yeah. When my was no 
lost in desolation You came along to save it Hold on to this for me, thank you, beautiful, yes Met Rosa Parks and her unending strength Without her we'd be still so divided Now I'm no longer doubtful of what I'm living for With diversity, Gallifrey falls no more I may do see Time lords can be The doctor can be Supernatural woman She grilled it up, cooked it, and ate that number. Mm -mm -mm. With, with some a fine wine and some chianti. Yeah, indeed. Right <laughs> Fava beans, whatever. I don't know. Our next performer, um, <laughs> <laughs> our next performer uh, did the illustrious task of combining Chicago and Matron Mama Morton and Hannibal Lecter and, and Jeffrey, Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> Another performer who was virtually impossible to pick just one number, um, Miss Nerdstyles herself, Cat Smith. All hail, Miss Nerdstyles. Yeah, she's brilliant. Yes. She's done, like, oh. I mean, she's done so much just in her own right. She's, mm -hmm. uh, the... She's our ukulele queen. She, she is very talented on the ukulele as well. She accompanies herself. She's probably, uh, she's one of our best, one of the best lyricists, parody lyricists that I know. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. She's so clever and witty and her lyrics are so sharp and funny. I mean, you'll see by the reaction, like. Yeah. And deep cuts. I love because she, she, oh. she doesn't, she doesn't dumb it down. You have to know or, or be willing to find out deep cuts. Yeah. Um, also. Uh, she has also been a very strong proponent. Uh, me and Kat have been working together with the people from West Wing Weekend, and they we've been doing bi-weekly readings of West Wing scripts. Um, oh, really? Yeah, hopping around, and that's been so much fun. So you should go to West Wing Weekend on Facebook and you can, or Miss Nerd Styles, and you can follow up some of the stuff we've been doing. Um, oh. I've been doing the daunting task of playing Leo McGarry. Um, I don't even pretend to try and be John Spencer. I kind of do the Sterling K. Brown written and make it my own. <laughs> um, but she has been bouncing back and forth between mostly C.J. Craig, which is like my one of my favorite characters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, without further ado, please enjoy Cat Smith singing When You're Good to Dahmer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let her tell you. Please give it up for Dr. Hannibal Lecter. So 
some applause for Mrs. Maisel, please. <laughs> And, and merriment, we like to keep things um, educational a little bit. Woo! So I, Hannibal Lecter, have come in from out of state. You all look like a crowd of excellent taste. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I'm going to give a uh, psychological profile um, about one of America's most prominent serial killers, and I will do it. Perfect. In song, Maestro. <laughs> Ask any in a victim's family those pretty boys who went home with Jeffrey. <laughs> he said that what he did, oh he did for love. But there's a difference between sex with teens and necrophilia. <laughs> Here's a word of warning. Give the boys a clue. When you're good to Dahmer, Dahmer butchers you. <laughs> Not a real good boyfriend. <laughs> Lifestyle's just taboo. <laughs> Hooking up for Dahmer. Cooking up for you. <laughs> the road to love is long and sad. Sometimes one needs a bridge. But please don't cut off your love's head and keep it in your fridge. <laughs> Slaughter can ensue when you're good to Dahmer. Dahmer, he gets cruel. Think that Jeff's a cutie? Kiss your butt, I do. Get a taste for Dahmer, you'll be in the stew. Grandma didn't notice what her boy would do. Better digs for Dahmer somewhere like Bellevue. His two great loves were food and sex. A date's his favorite dish. It's not like he's the only one. Just think of Albert Fish. Let's take him to prison. Cellmates run him through. When you're thrilling Dahmer, Dahmer's killing you. So if you're in Milwaukee, maybe uh. dates do not pursue. <laughs> when you're good to Dahmer, guys so um putting all together so transparency being key you cannot see the lustrous of chinese food and half empty beer bottles and stuff that have gone on here in front of us yes we're having a good time tonight so we hope you are too yes and now that our bellies are full we're ready to keep on yeah. keeping on now i'm going to be sitting up in my chair so it's not like <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> So, and again, also while we've been sitting here and talking and drinking and eating, we've been watching the videos, trying to narrow this down. We realize we're leaving so much stuff up. Um, for example, we're leaving out almost everything from the last four months of season three, just because all that stuff just recently came out. If you want to watch it, uh, please go to Lawrence Neal's hyphen Geek Life Rules, our YouTube playlist. 
Um, there's a plug. Go to the playlist and go check that playlist. out. Uh, and you could find a lot of the more recent stuff there. Um, but we did grab a couple. We did look through a couple, and we're like, we're going to put these in. Yeah, because they're just, they're just too good. We had to. And especially this one number that you're about to see, because, again, it's very relevant. It, it hits close to home. and It's another pandemic parody. It's another pandemic parody, yes. but the, the pan, girl... Para, pandemic? Pan, pan, pandemity? Pandemity? Pandemity. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. Why not? It's a pandemity, if you will. But uh, the girl who did it has a very amazing voice, great performer, uh, Lexi Iserman. Yes. Also, we were pointing out that the, this number was submitted right after we had decided that there was a moratorium on Frozen. No more Frozen submissions, no more Frozen parodies. And then, of course, this is the number that gets submitted, and it was just too damned good to not put both in the show and bring back for the highlight tonight. Yes. So, without further ado, we introduce our next performer for you this evening, Lexi Iserman. Yeah! Yes. Yes, the wind blows a little bit colder And we're all getting older Hmm, everyone seems to be staying home inside where is Kristoff, Olaf, and Elsa? Wait, is our park closing? Achoo! I wonder why he's standing six feet apart. Well, some things never change, like people shutting me out. Some things stay the same. We did toilet paper run out, no more paper towels. I got sensitive bowels, no hand sanitizer, too. Change. No, something's changing, it's true. The winds are restless. Could that be why I'm hearing this call? Is Corona coming? I'm not sure I want things to change at all. Our health is precious. Can't let it slip away. I want to save my kingdom. So I will stay at home and keep them safe oh. The wind blows a little bit colder And we all look a little bit older It's time to count our blessings beneath the quarantine sky We'll wash our hands for at least 20 seconds that stands for the good of the many And I promise you all of Aaron Dow will stay inside We'll all stay inside We'll all stay inside Some things have to change Turn around and the time has flown Some things stay the same Though the future remains unknown May we get some rest Let this virus pass Time's looking slow, it's true Bring the hand. There was a there was a hand. Okay, so the next performer. Um, obviously, we would not be doing a highlight show without Matt Rawson. Ah, oh, darling, darling Matt, we love him so much, and honestly, like such a nice guy, and so just genuinely warm. And I mean, he's been in every single cabaret we've done, right? Yep. Including the first one at Don't Tell Mamas. I think the only one he may the only ones he may not have been in are the Star Trek ones. That's it. Yeah. And those are like specials. Yeah. But we just adore him and like Lauren said, we couldn't do a highlight like cabaret without him. And again, it was hard to pick a song of his 
that we wanted to feature. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, we could do a whole show with just Matt. Yeah. And we could do a whole Animaniac show with just Matt. Like Yeah. It's 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 amazing. So what we did is we actually narrowed it down to two numbers that Matt did that actually had nothing to do with Animaniac. No, yeah, but I mean still wonderful. Um still wonderful. Um and then Pick the one that was well. We we wanted to pick something from last year's Road to New York Comic Con show, which was done at the Green Room um, at actual New York Comic Con, which uh, for the first time, um, and it was a great great number. Oh my gosh! And he looked amazing. His costume was like flawless, and yeah, I mean, definitely one of the highlights of my night. That performance for sure. Yeah, yeah. He's come so far. He really has. Oh. Matt, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you're watching this, but we love you so, so much. And like we said, you know. Appropriate levels of gushing are happening yes. on camera, and they're yeah. probably happening in the chat. And if they're not, they should be happening in the chat. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, performing Super Califragilistic Espialidocious is <laughs> Matt Rawson. <laughs> All he hopes tonight is that. This performance makes you feel, well, um, what's, what's the word? <laughs> yeah, whatever. I'll, I'll let you tell him. Give it up for Matt Ross and ladies and gentlemen. Hello, everyone. It is great to be here. Yay. And I mean, I can't really put into words. Well, I can. So... All I can say is it's super califragilistic, gets me yelling, dope shit. Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. If you say it loud enough, you'll always feel precocious. Super califragilistic, gets me yelling, dope shit. I'm the little, I'm the lie, 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 because I was afraid to speak when I was just a lad. Before they gave me no, the truth and told me I was bad. But then one day I learned a word that say me ain't you know. The biggest word you ever heard, and this is how it goes. It's super califragilistic, expialidocious. Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. Even though the sound of it is something quite precocious. Super califragilistic, expialidocious. I'm um, the little, I'm um, the lie. I'm um, the little, I'm um, the lie. I'm the little, I'm the lie. I'm the little, I'm the lie. I traveled all around the world and everywhere I went. I used me word at all when oh, there goes a clever chat. When do some operators have the time and day with me? I used me special word and then they asked me out for tea. It's super califragilistic, gets me alley shit. Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. Even though the sound of it is something quite precocious. Super califragilistic, and the alley don't shit. I'm the little, I'm the lie. 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 So when the cat has got your tongue, there's no need for dismay. Just summon up this word, and then you've got a lot to say. But better you than happily, or it can change your life. You know, I once used this word to me, girl, and now me girl's me wife. <laughs> you know? What a lovely thing she is. <laughs> She's super califragilistic, get the alley dope shit. 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 Uh, our next performer coming up is a very dear friend of mine, a beautiful vocalist and a beautiful human being, um, Christine Evans. I'm gonna get it right out there. Uh, this is from our Pottermania Harry Potter show from last season, which has the distinction of, at the time, being our most well-reviewed and well-received uh, cabaret. It also has the distinction of being the first cabaret that was performed multiple times in multiple locations. We did it in New York. Mm -hmm. We did it again at Mysticon. We did two different shows at Mysticon in Tarrytown. And then we took it to Philly. Philly, you did it for the Keystone Comic Con. And did it again for Keystone Comic Con mm -hmm. and at Frankie Bradley's. Yeah. Um, and this was just a beautiful it number. It was gorgeous. I mean, to the point where... I <laughs> 
we're, we're staring at the screen because we, we paused it, and my face is making this really, um, <laughs> uh, just a beautiful expression. It's somewhere between, like, a, uh, and a, ah, uh, like, I, I actually, like, got emotional. It's such a, it's a sweet song. It's beautiful. She sings it beautifully. She, I like, I mean, like, like you said, she's just got an amazing voice. Yeah, an amazing heart. And mm -hmm. the whole thing comes through in the number. Uh, for those of you who've seen it before, we're gonna highlight it again. For those of you who haven't seen it, uh, we hope you enjoy it. And um, Christine, we have discussed this. Come back Come to home. us. Come home. Come home. Come back to us and come home. Come home. We miss you. Yeah, I mean, now that we're, especially in a digital format where we're doing them every month now, come home. That's all we're going to say. Yes. Come home. For everyone else, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Christine Evans. We're here with you tonight, so please give it up for Lily Potter, a.k.a. Christine, everybody! <laughs> You guys are in for a treat. Um, so as you guys know, we've been watching and then doing the intros to refresh. A lot of times, um, I can't speak for you. I don't. I watch the numbers when when we get them in, when I'm editing, uh, when I'm putting the show together. But a lot of times during the actual performance, I don't get to watch the numbers because I'm busy behind the scenes, you know. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the great and powerful Oz. Green, see? Back to normal. Um, <laughs> so. It's magic. it's magic. Cassie's still here. Or, <laughs> depending on where this gets edited in, Cassie's now here. Um, <laughs> uh, Cassie might be here in a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Cassie, let me see if I can get this to work in Final Cut Pro. Cassie may fade away. 
Hey, Cassie Makeup, not to move, I'm gonna do it digitally. <laughs> right, right, but now I'm just gonna leave that and leave you leave it back. Um, anyway, we're supposed to be introing the next act. Um, so we were watching this and oh my God, just the characterization and the emotion and those eyes. Those eyes, oh my gosh. Um, yes, this is one of our, our new people who joined us in July for the first, uh, for the fourth virtual show that we did in July. Um, fantastic vocalist, great person. And when I was looking at you, um, and people who are, who are, who are theater fans may figure this out. We had briefly talked about doing Wheels of a Dream. Oh. With her like, singing Sarah. Oh my God, that's and right. Me doing you told me and about I'd that. And I'd forgotten about it <gasps> until just now watching her sing. Oh my Gosh, that still that needs to happen still. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That needs to happen. Yeah, you heard uh, it here. You heard you heard it here. And if Stay you're tuned. trying to figure out who and what we're talking about, or whether or not that makes sense, ladies and gentlemen, our next performer. Oh come on, <laughs> Helen Jane <laughs> Planchet. From oh, New Orleans. From New Orleans. From New Orleans. That's right. Not not Planchet. Take it away. She feels like it's appropriate to do the role of Persephone at this time from Hades Town because, you know, like her, she deals with her distaste for being trapped with copious amounts of alcohol. And if you're anything like me, I think we all agree we're doing the same thing. So please give it up for your next performer, Helen Jane Planchette. Oh my God, plank it. <laughs> Step into my office. I don't know about you boys, but if you're like me, you've been hanging around this old manhole is bringing you down. Six feet under, getting under your skin. Cabin fever is upsetting in. You're stir crazy, stuck in a rut. You could use a little pick me up. I can give you what it is you crave. A little something from the good old days. I got the wind right here in a jar. I got the rain on tap. At the bar, I got the sunshine up on a shelf. Allow me to introduce myself. Brother, what's my name? My name is Our Lady of the Underground. Brother, what's my name? The upside down. Wanna know my name? I tell you my name. Persephone. Come here, brother. Let me guess. It's the little things you miss. Spring flowers, autumn leaves. Ask me, brother, and you shall receive. Or maybe these just ain't enough. Maybe you're looking for some stronger stuff. I got a sight for the source time. When was the last time you saw the sky? Wipe away your tears, brother. Brother, I know how you feel. I can see you're blinded by the sadness of it all. But look a little closer and everything will be revealed. Look a little closer and there's a crack in the wall. Gentlemen, Thomas Presley on the piano. You want stars? I got a sky full. Put a quarter in the slot, you'll get an eye full. You want the moon? Yeah, I got her too. It's right here waiting in my pay per view. husband to take 
boss don't know, the boss won't mind. the dynamic is once the wifey comes home <laughs> guys <laughs> i miss her just like i miss you i miss both of you oh, we miss you too that's why i put you in the middle <laughs> that's exactly where we, the two this isn't too. creepy <laughs> that's exactly where we want her when the show's all over oh. <laughs> um oh, <my> <clears throat> guys. Oh, Lord. guys so <laughs> Guys out there who are wondering what madness you've been watching for the last hour and a half, we're coming to the end of the show um, tonight, uh, and we are bringing um, Powerhouse, a vocalist, out of the vault, um, who actually ended our very first cosplay cabaret, a co-worker of mine from Radio City Music Hall, Katrina Johnson Akers. I did not know this at the time. But performing in our cabaret, if memory serves, was her first time performing professionally on a New York City stage. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, and she blew it up. Like, like ever. Like ever. She hadn't... Ever. I mean, she ended up doing getting cast in shows not long after that and, and uh, getting cast in a tour or a regional show right after that because she's oh. fantastic. But the cosplay cabaret was her first professional show at Don't Tell Mamas. In New York City. That's incredible. Uh -huh. She is, I mean, talk about, like you said, a powerhouse. Her voice like, is in insane. It. Yeah. So and good. As you will see, their audience reaction at the end of her number was just, I was brilliant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think anybody in the room saw it coming. We didn't. Actually, you've never actually seen it. I haven't. I haven't. Um, I've just, you, you've told me and raved about it. So, so. yeah, actually, uh, so um, some of the numbers you've been watching, uh, reaction videos from us as we sit here and go by them, we'll glance it at, at uh, uh, Kate, because this is the first time she will see this. And I'll probably be crying. Uh, <laughs> performing the original demo version of This Is Me from The Greatest Showman. This is Katrina Johnson Akers. I remember this. Like the show or not, it is probably one of the best songs ever written for others that I can think of recently, so I'm very, very proud to personally welcome my coworker and my friend and a brilliant performer, Katrina Johnson Akers. <laughs> Shame sink in. We are bursting through the barricades and reading. 
Now you've seen that number. Wow. Oh my God. I, I like thought I knew what to expect and it exceeded my expectations and holy crap, Katrina, Katrina, like, <laughs> I just, I don't understand your voice. It's so good. She's so good. Goosebumps. And with the beard. Literal goosebumps. Yeah. And I love watching <sighs> Cassie was remembering, like, I was like, oh, I forgot. Oh. That's been the coolest part of about this entire night. It it's been amazing. It's been remembering all the absolutely fantastic performers that have been here and remembering moments that we had completely forgot because you, especially before we started doing virtual this year, seeing them once and then yep. going on. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of cool. So, guys, that brings us to our show tonight. We hope you guys had a great time um, going back. Before we wrap up, uh, thank you very much to our lovely host, Kate Hoover, who has been with us three years now, jumped in and saved me from all the crazy stuff that used to happen in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, I saved him from the crazy stuff, as you can see. Um, <laughs> he, may, he may have been introduced to extra crazy stuff. Yes. Thank you Kate. to our special guest who showed up <laughs> part way or midway or hopped in and out, depending on how we edited my wife. Uh, Only because I live here. <laughs> <laughs> who brings the crazy stuff. No saving happening. Um, thank you to each and every one of you guys out there who has supported the Cosplay Cabaret either by spreading the word about it or um, or coming to watch the shows. I know there are some people who have been to every single show, real or virtual, or introducing us to new performance performers or to new venues. We seriously could not be doing this without all of you. Um, yes, and of course... Huge virtual round of applause, everyone out there, for the man himself, Lawrence Niels. Without doing this would not be possible. You guys, thank you. Thank you. But like, seriously, you guys, I'd just be a dude talking into his you know, cell phone like, and not getting ten, any kind of TikTok subscribers. <laughs> um, you guys have, have, have turned like a, a dream into a reality and, you know, and made this little small corner a little bit happier, we hope. Um, with that being said... Before we leave you, we have two things we want to throw at you. One, our brand new season starts March 4th. Um, we were, of course, hoping to be back in, in the club, but we're going to be virtual. We'll be here March 4th. Casting on that show will start this Monday. So if you're interested in joining our little Coscap family, Monday's when you can start sending in your submissions uh, to the thing below. And But before that... We've got a very special surprise. I'm very excited about I this. I am so, so excited. Ah! I we, yeah, we have been... I kind of want to flash everyone. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Not yet, not yet. Not yet. We've been, for years, we've been prodded and poked and cahooled and told, and we just have not wanted to touch this. Um, but now well, we're you, going... You did a little bit. We did a little bit, but we didn't want to step on people's toes. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. We didn't want to do something that was being done far better by other people. We just, for whatever reason, we didn't want to touch it. But we're, now we're going to smack it up, flip it, and rub it down for oh, Valentine's. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, for Valentine's weekend. Um, the Cosplay Cabaret is going burlesque. Yes, yes. Oh. With yes. the blessings of the yes. people we love. With the blessings of the people we love. The first of many times you will hear me say things like, thank you, Joe the Shark, and uh, guys from Hotsy Totsy. Okay. We oh. have a fantastic cast put together for this show. We have a fantastic behind-the-scenes production team that has helped to put this show together. We're doing a love letter to fandom to celebrate Valentine's Day, and we hope to see all of you there. Details will start dropping um, now that the word is out publicly. And then our season will officially start March 4th. Yay! There's going to be a little bit of nudity. Back again. Yeah, there's going to be boobies! Um, Titties. Titties. <laughs> oh, God. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> this is why we haven't done it before. Jeez. This is what Maybe happened. some butt cheeks. I don't know. Who's Wait, boys? Say? Are there going to be boys in there? Rewind. Edit. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's going to be cheeks. lots of and lots of, and lots of... Okay. And you'll just show your, will you? Will you show a bit? No. Oh. Guys, thank you. I Good night. I want to God see. bless. And we leave you with how it all ended. 
and the uh, the just you know the fun and love and warmth of family that we've always tried to bring. See you on February 11th, and see you in the new season, March 4th. Bye. This last one is for everybody. Because if you couldn't tell, you probably already know the words. I stopped short of putting on the blonde wig. <laughs> Look what's happening to me. I can't believe in myself. Suddenly I've been on top of the world. It should have been somebody else. Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. I never thought I could feel so free. Flying away on a wing and a prayer. Who could it be? Believe it or not. Thank you.